Hi, it's Bonnie from Let's Create, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to paint this really cute little watering can with some flowers in it here, and you can choose any colors that you would like to paint this with me today. So I have done, I've done a little bit of prepping ahead of time just to save on a little bit of time for you. So I've made my watering can. This is the color is Bahama Blue some white flowers, a lavender, and then a yellow. It's just a regular primary yellow color. And then we're going to also add a pink tulip to our project here. So just a little bit of information on base coating your project. You want to, I'm gonna set down here, hopefully you can see it. You want to be sure to paint from the inside of your wood toward the outside edges. That will help you if you scrape it this way toward you, then you are very likely to get rolls of paint going down the sides of your wood. Or if you start in the middle and work your way out toward the edges, you have very nice clean edges, finished edges on your products, on your projects. Now I don't paint the edges on these um, that are cut with a laser and engraved for you because they already have a very nice clean edge on them. These are acrylic paints. Again, you can use any color that you would like. If you put a thin coat on, you might need two different coats or you can just do one. But again, make sure it's very nice and smooth very even. You don't want any ridges. You don't want any valleys, no lumps in your paint. You want it to be very smooth. So if you can do that with one or two coats of paint. And then I'm gonna take, um, I wanna put a little bit of pink in the middle of this. We're gonna call him a daisy. I usually recommend using the as large a brush that you're comfortable using. It'll give you less brush strokes while you're painting. And again, give you really good coverage. You're getting a little bit of glare on that there, aren't you? And again, you can make them whatever color, any color that you have. All right, um, you can use in your kit, if you've purchased that, you have the little photo that goes with that. You can use that also as a guideline for you. Um, let's put a little bit of decorations on this. So I'm gonna use a little bit of gray. This is just a really easy way to give your flowers a little bit of definition and just to add a little bit of, a little bit of pizzazz to your project. So I'm gonna use a gray first. We're gonna go back with some white then also on our flowers. And I'm using just a really nice liner brush for this. Something that's nice and pointy. I'm gonna start on my lavender tulip here. At the bottom, turn so you can see. Starting at the bottom with a little pressure as I go to the top, I lift up on my brush to get my lines just a little bit skinnier. And you can always practice this on your palette. If you use, like I've got just a styrofoam plate here, if you need to practice that ahead of time. You can do that too. And again, this is gray that I'm using and I'm gonna put the same thing, I'm gonna put a little bit of gray on my yellow tulip here. And uh, let's see, I wanna put a little bit, um, trying to think of, I want a little bit of gray. Yeah, I think I will I'll put a little bit of gray on my white daisy here. I'm going to turn him around so you can see what I'm doing here. So you can see the gray that's on my 
lavender and then gray that's on my yellow tulip. I'm gonna do the same to the pink. He's not quite dry yet, but let's put just a few marks here. Again, I'm using my liner brush. And I'm just following the lines that are already on your project that were engraved on them before you started to paint them is what I'm using for these lines on my little flowers here. So let's put some lines on our watering can. I'm gonna turn it back around here so that's facing me. I'm gonna put a line on the top part. I'm still using the gray. The top part of the handle and then I'm gonna put a line along the right hand side on the watering can itself. I'm gonna go across the bottom. There's a line on the bottom that I'm following and I'm not going completely across the bottom. I made it more like in two separate lines. Across the top of the spout and then the little pouring end of my watering can. I'm going to put a little bit of gray here where the water comes out on each one. I put a little gray line underneath to separate those two parts out there. Um, on the top here, and I think that's pretty good. So let me hold, let me hold this up here again. So the areas that I put the gray on the handle here, two marks across the bottom, one right here on the bottom below the spout, and then up here where the water comes out. Those are all just gray, little gray areas there. All right, we're gonna let those dry a little bit. And let's go up and work Let's work on our, I'm gonna work on this pink daisy next. So I already, I base coated it white and I added some pink in the middle. I'm gonna use that same pink color and I'm going to put some little marks here again on each one of the petals. And I want those to be fairly skinny marks, not, not too big. my hand in a little bit of gray there. I want to be sure I don't smear that. I'm going to turn it around here. Be sure to keep your hand out of your wet paint. So just a few little lines there around the center part. And then I'm also going to go on each petal. So to do, it's kind of like a big calm. I'm okay, we're gonna put a little bit of pink around the edges of our pink daisy and then our yellow one here. We're gonna put a little bit of yellow around the edges of those. And I just do that by kind of making a big comma stroke. So I start with a little pressure and I lift up on my brush as I go around each petal and you can use any color to do this. Just like adding a little bit of extra color on the petals. And then we're gonna take a little bit of white where we put our gray on our project here on the flowers and then on the watering can also. Still using that nice liner brush. I'm gonna add a little bit of a white highlight then. Now you don't wanna cover up the gray that you just did. You can run your white 
right along the sides if you want to. And again, this will just give it a little bit of a highlight kind of area. Adds a little more dimension to your project. Let me show you this purple one here so you can see what I'm doing here a little bit. So you can see I've got the white on there with the purple and then the yellow one also. A little bit of white on him. I'm gonna put some white dots in the middle of my pink flower. And let's put some white on our watering can then too. Same places that we put the gray on. So I'm gonna start at the top of the handle here. And again, you're not covering the gray up. So either put your stroke above it or below it, or just beside it. Or maybe make the white stroke lines not quite as long as your gray ones. show you all the little different places here that I did. Try not to put my fingers in this. So say I've got the white right where the gray is. You can still see the gray, but I've added some little white shine marks to that also. Now we need our last step is we're gonna add, there's some little flowers that hang down right here. I'm gonna make mine pink. I'm gonna put paint on the hard end of my brush and I'm just going to make dots with that pink paint. And I'm smushing, or you can paint it with your end of your brush. Using the hard end is a little bit easier maybe for some of you. I've got those dots on there. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of white, almost like stems, and then just kind of connect them a little bit. Hopefully you can see that. Connect them a little bit here with a little bit of a white. So I don't, picked up a little pink there. I don't make my lines very big at all when I'm doing these. just a little bit and then you can actually take more white and I'm just going to put a dot on top of each pink flower so that it gives you kind of that pink and again you can use any color that you want any color that you would like or you can use purple for those. Those are really pretty. Actually, I think with this one, I may use purple. So here's again is your finished project. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please be sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on social media at Let's Create with Bonnie. And our website is letscreatewithbonnie.com where you can find all of these fabulous wood cutouts for you to paint a home also. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.